Oh wow, it's been such a trip. <laughs> really, the last weeks have been crazy, but we made it. And finally, we've got the brake cooling solution in our hands, all finished and all done. So let's get right into it today. Uh, you're asking yourself, yeah, this is like a, a rally bread car. Everything is perfect. The performance is so high. That means you haven't driven it hard enough yet because most of you, as you have reached out many times and asked me and as we have seen in previous videos, know that the GI Yaris brake system works in the following way. Basically, the stock pads have a very, very low friction coefficient. And uh, if you put aftermarket pads, what happens is that even swapping the discs to get the correct cooling, you have much, much more heat because more, uh, more um, coefficient of MU is going to bring you more problems of heat, you know. And I've always been telling everybody, you know, you need to cool the brakes down because otherwise there's no way out. Yeah, you can put uh, aftermarket motorsport discs and these help, but anyways, you need a solution to cool them. So we developed our own and we finally finished them. So these are much bigger than what we initially thought of doing. You see, one on the other, much, much bigger. And uh, I am very satisfied of their design. So basically it is an air scoop that is open on one side to slide into the car. This will be the best solution possible for cooling the brakes on the GI Yaris, in my humble opinion. Also because there is one other product, like many people did not lose time to show me, I didn't even know it existed, um, that uh, is from a a Apex Eye. And uh, the fact is that their fixing solution um, has some issues because it's a two-part piece that is riveted plastic to plastic and it screws on physically to the holes in uh, the stock arm. So this is the stock arm and you see these two holes here. This is where it screws in. So uh, what happens is that from this side you've got a, a lot of rotational force that is given by the duct itself while it's meeting the air and this can create problems. So if you're fixing uh, next to, to, to the beginning of the arm, the rotational force will be much stronger on the material. Plus, you will be only able to fix it on this OEM arm. But you know that we love to put on Weborg arms and some of you have already fitted, for example, Verkline arms, and we needed to make a solution that was compatible with all of them. So, what are we looking at here? We are looking at the left-hand side arm and this part that is the final production part, we have done a first batch now, that matches up in this way. You see how big it is and we have carefully packaged through CAD design work how this works. And it is, I'm trying to show you in the best way possible, not easy. And uh, this comes in like this. So uh, many can ask me, how would this fixing solution work? So here it is. You get it. In this way, it's something big to work with. You have fixing solution here that basically clamps it onto the arm. So, you're clamping the arm completely. Uh, this part is made in order to work, as I said, with uh, the three different types of arms. So, we had to make uh, a size that is uh, uh, very, very close to all three, but still gives you the possibility of a slight movement. Then, we have some foam tape specifically found for this application that you just peel off like so you put inside on the straight side and you attach it just like so 
and this helps with the vibrations and it's not the only thing and on the other side also there you go so this will help with the fitting and any possible vibrations so now I will fit it back to the arm so I'm showing you real time how this this is intended to be done real quick so I fix it back to the arm so now I actually have to exert some force to get it in and I only just managed to pass it through it's snug nothing is moving but it is on foam so there is no vibration in this case this is our usual engineering and this is not all because now how are we going to fix this part we are going to fix it with uh, an actual damper so this damper is made like this basically we have two bolts is the camera helping me here or not yeah we have two bolts that are inside this rubber you see it flexes and uh, we have an M5 nut we have once again a spring washer and a washer that will keep it inside so basically you have to package it in a way that you have the washer and the spring washer on the outside of the arm and this flexible part in the inside so in this way nothing will move anymore and I will show you this installed okay so I just was checking the things because this uh, this uh, dimensional accuracy of the holes here is uh, very tight so what you want to do is get your power drill in drill mode not percussion mode with an M5 point and please use a metal point and not a plastic point because this is going to mess everything up uh, metal point and plastic point you can see because the or wall point is something you do not want because you want the edges at the beginning the leading edges to be at the same width of the rest okay then you put this on uh, a solid base and very carefully you just make the hole a bit bigger since dimensional um, precision can be with a half a millimeter of tolerance before trying this installation just get your insulator this one and the test fit it so if you see this one for example is an unmodified one and if I screw it in it's actually screwing in so this one is, uh, is okay without modifications otherwise just a slight power drill and uh, you will manage to open it up so let's take this out <laughs> and uh, get with it to the actual installation also because it's not two-way threaded it's got uh, the it's not left and right it's the same so once again we have our arm Look, just look at the, at the size and the beauty of the arm with this installed. It's just so cool. And this is such a performance bump, you can't imagine. Look at that. You just can't imagine. So, let's get it installed. Basically, I will take this insulator and very easily just fix it in like this so this insulator is rubber and this means that it also let's say let's put it like this it pinches the whole thing because it's five millimeters less uh, in relation to the arm but also what it does is uh, it uh, does not let the the, the part that is already snug with the foam in it move back and forth so once you've pinched this down nothing is moving anymore so you want to put 
your conventional washer and your spring washer and your self-locking nut in this way and you repeat at the bottom same thing and in this way the performance is guaranteed here at the bottom same thing big washer small washer and the nut there you go now i'm not tightening it obviously and this is in the installation now it's not even tight but look at this it is also has uh, uh, an internal ribs area that gives it the correct inclination you see it's it's coming outwards more in the middle of the car therefore the air arrives and it guides it into into the brake disc in this way so it comes at all levels and it comes and it guides it into the disc and this is the actual today for me because we made it as uh, at the best of our own knowledge is the best solution for cooling brakes on a GIRs bar none whatever else you have seen cannot accomplish the mission of of this whole part so i'm really happy with it and i really hope that uh, you guys will uh, put your hands on it i know that many of you from the first batch are going to have the packages sent out tomorrow uh, by myself and my friends and uh, therefore uh, just let me know what else you want to know in the next weeks and I'm gonna try to go and to meet up with some GR Yaris owners in the Canary Islands because I understand that there are at least 34 GR Yaris's down there so it will be great to manage I've packed all my gear I also got some new gear and uh, I'm learning to use it so hopefully it will be even better quality we will maybe manage to go and do some rally roads where the WRC will be next year so super super fun I'm really looking forward to it and for sure I'm gonna be seeing Leo and others in Tenerife also so for now it's all and uh, see you at the next video have a great day bye